We're in the bell pepper greenhouse right now and today we're going to do the first pruning of the year and what we're going to do is we're going to prune each plant down to only two stems. So each stem is going to grow up one of these strings here and I'll show you the process of actually pruning the branches and how to do it. As you can see each plant has two main branches here and they split at the top here into even more branches. So what we want to do is we want to find the um, the strongest branches or the branches that are growing in the right direction towards the string and all the other branches we are going to terminate them. So let's do this plant as an example. Okay so I found the branch I'm going to keep on this side and I'm going to keep it growing up this way. So that means this branch here I'm going to terminate that. So what I do is I want to terminate it at the growing point. So that's where it splits here and we're just going to get the scissors and just cut it just like that. So as you can see the, the growing point is terminated there and we're going to continue. Oops, cut a leaf there. Mistakes are made. So that's looking pretty good. I think I could just uh, prune this one here. And this guy here. Okay. So that is done for that plant. And I'll show you guys how it looks now. Okay, so as you can see at the top, this is the only branch left with a growing head on this side. And this is the only branch with a growing head on that side. Everything else has been terminated right at the growing point. And the next thing we're actually going to do is remove these flowers at the bottom here. This is also really important because it, uh, it really helps the plant get a head start and stops the plant from focusing on growing fruit too early because what we want to do is grow a healthy vigorous growing plant that will be able to support a larger fruit load later in the season and this will help the plant for many different reasons okay i'm actually going to go ahead and remove a few more flowers so this one here we're going to take that one off this one, this one, and I think we're just going to leave this one for now. So we've removed enough that if this pepper does grow, it's not too much of a load on the plant right off the start. And the other reason why I did remove some of these ones is because when they did grow, if they did, they would grow in the center here and the pepper would be getting squished between the stem and it makes for fruit that is very difficult to harvest and it also makes deformed fruit. So that's not the only reason why I cut those. It's because the plant just won't be able to support them right now and we want to keep the plant in a balanced growth state. It's really important to do this pruning and removing the flowers early on because it really does set the stages of growth for the plant. So what we want to do is we want to keep our crop in a balance between a vegetative and generative state and this is one of the primary ways to do that. We want to control the amount of fruit that we allow the plant to set and this will give us consistent harvest every single week. If we didn't do this, the plant would go into a generative state and it would try to grow a whole bunch of peppers all at once and ripen those all at once. And then what will happen is the plant will go through a period where we don't have peppers to harvest for multiple weeks at a time. So especially if we're doing the farmer's market, we want to make sure that we are getting consistent harvest every single week and this is also going to give us the highest quality fruit from our peppers. Okay, so now let's go ahead and prune the rest of the plants. So 
so here's what the plants look like now after pruning and the plants will recover very quickly and pretty soon you won't even be able to know that they were pruned so here's just a close-up of one of the plants we pruned and as you can see on top we have the two growing heads and each one will be clipped to the string here and we will twist the branch around the string as the plant grows and I'll be showing you guys that later in the season in another video. So I hope this video was helpful and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.